Welcome to Flash CS5. What we're going to be doing is using our actual paintbrush tool this time. Before we used our actual pencil tool and what you had is you noticed that the stroke color was actually filled in. Now what's going to happen is when we use the paintbrush you'll notice that the fill color is actually what we're going to be working with. So it's a big difference and something you need to realize when you're using. So we'll first change that to a black so we can use it and we'll go through our tools. Now to change the brush size, we go down here to the second from the bottom and you can see you can change the actual size of your brush there and if you actually want to change the brush shape you can go through and change the shapes that you have here. Now if you need to change colors you go through and you can click on the color picker here or you have your color picker over here. Both of these will work and both of them will change the color. So looking at our actual brushes, so we'll make the brushes quite large see there's a round brush there. Okay, we'll change to our square brush. You can see how it's got that jagged outline there. Okay. So depending on the brush that you're using, it'll give you different types of effects. So, okay, if you find that you want to change the color, you need to use the selection tool, double click on your actual paint stroke and you can go through and change the color that way. So for each of them, I'll just go through and change them to slightly different colors, just so you can see that they've actually been changed. Now, one other thing with this, if you do want an outline, what you'll be doing is you'll be using what we call our ink bottle tool, and what that'll do is actually put an outline on the selected shape that you have. So for instance, if I move my ink bottle close, you can see that it's actually now got an outline around here and that's if you want to put that in there. Another thing you'll notice is when you use the line tool when you actually moved your cursor close to the actual shape of the line it actually would say okay we'll actually bend this line. The difference is that was a path this is an actual fill so when you actually make changes here because you're using a fill it's actually moving the outside of the fill line. So as you can see here depending on what I'm using and where I'm actually moving. When I select a point, it actually can see it goes to a square compared to an actual little half circle. Half circle there says you can bend the line. An actual square, that's the point. So you can actually move the point of the line like so. So there are just a couple of things you need to realize when you are using the actual paintbrush tool.